Hello my friends. Here's the card we'll be making using some basic stamping with markers. Here's the supplies we need and I apologize for the angle. I'm trying a new tripod for my camera. I have some markers from Stampin' Up, ink pads, a sponge, and I was going to use this mist but I changed my mind later. And then this is the stamp we're using from Lovely as a Tree from Stampin' Up and Sympathy for You from the Stamps of Life. So let's get started with our basic stamping here. We're going to begin with the tree image from the Lovely as a Tree and we're going to use all four colors. This is Crushed Curry and I'm just randomly coloring on the leaves of the tree. This is only orange, old olive, and then the brown is soft suede. And so I'm just coloring in the image randomly and making sure all the leaves are covered so that I get the full image of the tree. So very easy to color with your markers. And then for the tree trunk I'm using the soft suede. And then to re-moisten the stamp I'm just breathing heavily on it or huffing on it to re-moisten all the colors of the markers before I stamp. So I'll do that a little bit off camera. Here I'm just again making sure I got all the leaves covered. And now I'm just breathing heavily on it. And then I'm going to press firmly because it is a pretty detailed stamp. And now you can see we got all those different colors on the leaves of the tree. Very simple. Now I didn't like the tree trunk being open like that so I wanted to add some color. Um, but before I do that, sorry, I'm going to sponge the bottom with this old olive ink pad and a sponge just to give it some ground so it's not just floating in space and it's just not stark white. And then also between the leaves of the tree, I didn't like it being so white. So I'm just dabbing the old olive ink with the sponge over those leaves to fill in the white so it's not so stark white. And now I'm going to fill in the tree trunk. I'm just using my marker and a blender pen. And then I'm just coloring in the tree trunk so that it's no longer white. So this gives me a soft look, almost watercolor look with the blender pen. And now you could see what that stamped image looks like. And now we're going to take the sentiment and use soft suede ink from Stampin' Up. And again, very simply just going to stamp it right above the tree image we just did. And this is a pretty thick sentiment, so I am trying to press firmly and make sure that it all gets contact to the paper. But I missed a little bit in the middle, so I'm using the soft suede marker just to touch it up and fill in those few areas. And now I'm going to assemble. Um, again, these were some scrap cardstock, so I don't have the exact measurements. But um, I was going to add the mist, but I changed my mind because the mist color I had was too dark. So I decided to add this ribbon instead. It's a denim ribbon from Stampin' Up. I believe it's retired. And then now I'm simply just going to assemble all these layers onto my craft card base. So because it's a scrap it doesn't fit uh, perfectly. There's a little bigger border on the top and the bottom but I'm okay with that. So here's our clean and simple sympathy card. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.